What's up guys? How's it going? <laughs> Jeremy from RC Militia here and today we're going to be looking at the DJI Phantom 3 Standard. Finally got into aerial. I am so happy to have a quadcopter. It is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and I'll tell you the plans we have for it, why we got it, all this good kind of stuff. And literally I know nothing about this. So if you're expecting an informed or an informative video, uh, just go ahead and click off right now and just don't waste the time because it's not going to be informative at all because I don't know anything about it and I'll explain to you how I'm going to find out everything about it. So, uh, yeah, here we go. So, there we go. There it is. Everything, uh, I still get a smile on my face when I say this thing. I'm so happy to have a quadcopter. It's ridiculous. So, of course, your remote and the remote is really cool. I'm not sure how this works, but I know you can hook your phone up and you can see what is going on on the camera uh, with your with your phone hooked up right here. I do believe, I am almost positive that's what it is. Um, yeah, I know it is. So you can do that with the remote. Uh, it's just, it just looks like a pretty standard remote, but uh, it's not gonna be standard for me because this is like, this is gonna be like learning a foreign, la foreign language. But uh, yeah, but I do have uh, a buddy that is going to be teaching me how to uh, use this whole thing from Max Amps. I'm not going to mention his name because I don't know if he wants his name mentioned on camera because I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't talked to him about this at all. Um, but he is going to be helping me uh, setting up with the whole um, the updating your software and all that stuff. I know it needs to be done very, very precisely. Um, and I'm going to have him help me set everything up. If you want to call me a chicken or a pussy for not just going, ahead, going out and doing it myself, then go ahead. Um, honestly, if you do, I don't care so it doesn't matter either way but um with that said let's let's take a look at this thing so um you get a bunch of extra blades in here um i guess i can just pull them out to see you show you the, the, the size of them i'm not putting anything on because i don't even know how that goes on yet i haven't read the manual or anything and they're wrapped in plastic so i can't right now but uh there's some blades and you get two you get two sets of them so it'll go on like so you know you've seen it you've seen the dji a thousand times these things have been around for forever now uh and thank God we finally got one. Um, so there's there there's the whole the DJI in its glory. It's smaller than I expected to be honest. I thought it was gonna be quite a bit bigger than it is, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, one cool thing is it does come with a camera. So it has a three-axis gimbal, which is pretty damn good. Um, I know there's five-axis gimbals. Uh, the camera that I'm filming with right now is a five-axis gimbal, believe it or not. I think. I, th I think it is. It could be three. Does it say on it? It does not. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so back to the video at hand. Um, so uh, yes, live Wi-Fi enabled. So that answers the question. Phone, I'm guessing the phone goes on to here. That's a really weird connector for a phone, but I'll see how that works uh, once I pop open the manual and stuff like that. I'm not taking any of the plastic off of the camera. Uh, everything is staying as it is. I, I am probably gonna struggle to try and put it back in its box. With that said, uh, any of you guys with the DJI Phantom 3 standard, do you know of any good case out there that is under a freaking hundred dollars? Because everything I've been looking at is expensive as all get out. Um, I'm not sure if I want a backpack or an actual case or what the best way is to go with that. But they do supply you with a charger. Uh, the battery is already in here. Do I dare take it out? <laughs> I'm so scared of breaking this thing. So that's what the battery packs look like. And I do believe the battery packs are proprietary so you can't buy off I mean you can you can buy off-brand ones but that would be pretty stupid um, with a quadcopter and something that could easily hurt somebody I'm not gonna buy anything off-brand for this at all because um, I don't want to mangle the shit out of somebody's dog or child or something like that with the blades or myself or my fiance or my dogs out in my backyard or any living creature <laughs> Um, but the, the gimbal is absolutely pretty cool. I've seen footage of this thing. It does look like it does take absolutely, you know, not, it's not the best video in the world, but it's a whole lot better than like, I don't know, probably like the Traxxas quadcopters, uh, Thunder Tiger quadcopters, the, it's probably better than the Blade ones too. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, uh, cause I think that's kind of what DJI is known for is their their camera stuff and and this isn't like a go fast quadcopter i don't i don't know how fast it goes honestly but uh we'll see um but anyway i i think i'm gonna be extremely happy with this i wanted to go the phantom i wanted to get the inspire but that's things like three thousand something dollars and this thing we paid i think it was 
four ninety nine or five ninety nine for I can't remember. Um, but uh, yeah, and we did get it off DJI fan DJI site. I don't know if you can get them anywhere else. I'm not sure. I didn't even check tower or anything. I just kind of went straight to the source on that one. Uh, not something I usually do. I usually offer order off of tower hobbies always if I can. But uh, so I'm gonna open the manual and I'm just gonna check out see what we got going on here. Um, but it does come with an well, hang on, let me let me get to this too. So we have an accessories box and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pull all this out and I have no idea what any of this stuff is. So let's see. Yep, no idea what any of this is, but you get an accessory box. So I showed you the blades. Uh, it does come with a charger. I don't think there's any need to check that take that out. It's, it plugs into the wall and then it plugs into your battery. Basically how every charger works. So there you go on that one. Um, oh, this is kind of cool. Hey, pretty cool. I'm probably going to go with the blue or that's purple or whatever. So you get these. You can change the colors. So you see it's red right now, right in here. You get stickers to change the colors. So I'm not going with pink. Possibly, yes. I'll probably be going with green because just because of the whole... Keeping the whole Irish Irish theme. Uh, if you guys don't know, I am full-blooded Irish. My parents and um, both both parents' sides. Uh, we have family reunions in, in in Dublin, which I've never been able to go to because uh, I've always been in school. But now that's over. I can go uh, next year if they have one. <laughs> so I don't know. That was a long story about the color of green. Uh, also comes with a blue or purple. Uh, kind of depends on which way you look at it, but. It's kind of cool that they included any of these, or that they included these, and then you got some some red ones. Okay, so yeah, and then these are purple or pink, one of the two. No, I'm not colorblind. There's metallic and different, and like a rusty orange color, which is pretty cool. Um, this is pretty cool. They kind of let you a little. It's a little bit of customization with stickers, and then a lighter like teal or aqua, whatever you want to call that. Um, so you get your quick start guide. Uh, what's in the box, so I'll tell you what's in the box. Uh, so, so you get the DJI, you get the remote controller, you get four or two sets of propellers, so four, uh, so yeah, two sets of propellers, uh, you get one battery, uh, the charger and the power cable, and the charger and the power cable are both in this box right here. So now that everything's unboxed, I'm gonna put this stuff carefully back in the, uh, its box, its home, and then we'll talk about what we're gonna do with this thing. So just bear with me for a moment here. All right, so everything's back where it should be. I'm so nervous with this thing. I'm just nervous to touch it, nervous. I'm extremely nervous around this because I don't have a case for it or anything like that. And I want it to be protected and all that good stuff. So um, the main reason Jaren and I got this was the fact that we want to change up our videos a little bit when it comes to running videos of RC cars. So we're going to use this for running videos, run, running videos with RC cars, just as well as uh, putting up footage from what we get just going around Spokane and, and, and flying, depending on what the regulations are. I don't even know anymore. I'm going to have to, excuse me, I'm going to have to talk to people about that. But uh, so we'll look at the, um, the battery. Um, actually, let me finish what I was saying there. Um, so what Jamar and I are going to do is we're going to have, uh, like I said, we're going to have m probably me driving the car or me flying. I don't know. One of the two. Jamar driving the car, me flying, or vice versa. Um, but I think it'll be cool to have, always to be able to have a little bit of aerial footage with the car because a lot of the times it's hard to see what kind of what kind of terrain the car, car is uh, covering as fast as it's covering. And when you get the the footage from an aerial shot it, it i don't know it's just it's just more impressive i i believe um we went out with my buddy from max amps on to shoot the yeti xl running video and maybe i'll throw up a link in the description below of that one because that's kind of what we're thinking about doing for um for a lot of our running videos is not not every running video but we're quite a, a quite a bit of them i think i want to have a little just maybe a blip of aerial coverage in it um but some of them may have an equal amount of aerial coverage and ground coverage in it as well as far as video goes so that's the whole premises on why we bought this and fact like and frankly we just wanted a drone i mean we wanted one really bad we've wanted one for forever and we were finally able to afford one, so we both just looked at each other and just like, should we get one? Yeah, it's time. So with that said, uh, I guess we'll kind of go into the specs a little bit. I'll kind of, well, I'll just leave this here, and then I'll cover my face up with the box. Uh, like I said, the radio standard, all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah. 
So I'm just gonna read you the stuff off because I don't really know everything about it and I'm not the one that sits there and is gonna do a whole bunch of research because I kinda want you to experience as I experienced it, or as I experience it. Can't talk today for some reason. Um, so that's just kind of why I do the unboxings the way I do, not to get all technical and everything, because I kind of want you guys to learn with me. And yeah, and I need to start doing reviews, and that's another thing we're going to start doing. Every product, instead of doing the running video and just giving my opinion at the end and having that as a review, that's not going to be the case anymore. I'm going to do full-on reviews like I used to uh, and go over every minor detail that I can think of. Uh, but with that said, uh, let's point out some of the uh, aspects of this DJI Phantom 3 standard. So, easy to use intelligent flying camera. That's a good thing. Uh, smart control system for stable automatic flight. Yes, uh, we know that about the DJI Phantom. Um, has a three axis gimbal uh, for smoother and clearer footage. Like I said, three axis gimbal already. Um, they claim 25 minutes of flight time on the battery. I have watched, whose video did I watch? Uh, Digital Rev, I think they did one. I was surprised they actually had one when I was watching videos. Digital Rev did one. And those guys know cameras and everything else like that. And they were pretty impressed by this. But they said, I think on their video, they said around 18 minutes flight time. And I think that's what other people were saying. But some people were saying over 25 minutes. So I don't know. I don't know. I just, I guess it kind of just depends on how you're flying. Um, just kind of like how it depends on your driving with a car. If you're gunning it all the time, the battery's not going to last as long. Uh, lightweight, compact, easy to carry. Yeah, I want a case. <laughs> And then you can also get the uh, the, uh, the DJI app for you know looking, be able to look see your phone and then see what the camera's looking at. You can get that on the it uh, comes on Android bleh, and Apple, so that's good. Uh, works with iMovie and Final Cut Pro X. Yes, please. I like that. Okay, um, so completely full fully integrated system. What does that say? Uh, dedicated remote control with built-in Wi-Fi range extender, extended range, 3,200 feet, holy shit. Um, FCC 1,600 feet, I'm guessing, is that, is that a rule or something? I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's 720 HD. I could have sworn it did 1080. It's live 720p HD as you fly with built-in Wi-Fi. So I'm not sure if it records in just... I'm going to have to search research that more because I thought it recorded in 1080p, but if not, that's fine. 720 is just fine. Uh, less less level of times for me. Um, so 2.7K video. Um, and God, this is confusing. They could have listed. I, I need to do a lot more research on this camera. And then I will actually, I'll actually, I will do a whole different video on just the camera itself on, on what it can and can't do, uh, which is one of the main things I should do with this. Uh, so that's basically it. Um, if you want more information on a detailed uh, uh, unboxing, then go ahead and search for one. Like I said, I know jack crap about this right now, and that's why my buddy from Max Amps is going to be helping me get used to all this foreign territory for me. Um, literally, some of the stuff that I've read on the box and read about it is like a foreign language to me, yes. <laughs> but somewhat familiar at the same time, which is which is encouraging. But with that said, guys, I think I've covered everything. Um, yes, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to mention. Not that I can think of at the moment, um, but I am just, you know, really, really happy that we have a drone. And I'm just going to let it sit on the table until I get a case, and hopefully nothing touches it or bumps it or knocks it around or does anything because this is my baby right now. <laughs> with that said, anyway, guys, uh, enough rambling. Um, Oh, I didn't do the video on the couch because everything else was set up out here and I was lazy and I didn't want to freaking go set up other stuff and I didn't want to unbox this on the couch. I kind of wanted to do this one out here. Um, but I think the next unboxing will be on the couch. And I mentioned that Jumeira would be in the next video and this is the next video. She's not here. She has to go uh, spend time with an elderly lady that's having a rough time in a nursing home right now. Um, and so uh, your guys' thoughts for her would be really cool. Um, and much appreciated because she's a really cute little old lady that's 93 years old and uh, she's going through a little bit of a rough patch. She's never had a rough patch, no health issues and or anything at all in her life and now she's having a rough patch and it's kind of scaring her. So that's why Jamira is not here right now. She's off actually doing something good for the world uh, and more people should be like Jamira <laughs> in my opinion. But uh, with that said guys, uh, the next video will be with Jamira and 
We're going to have some unboxing videos, a couple more unboxing videos this week. I'm probably going to be just throwing videos at you this week. Um, just get the unboxing videos out and then we can do all the running videos. And we plan on, we've already planned days for running videos next week, which is going to be great. I can't wait to, to get out there. Hopefully this will be one of the videos. Um, us. I'm gonna make a video on just how to set it up with my uh, with, with my buddy from Max Amps, and we can um, show you guys exactly firsthand how what it's like to set it up. I know it. I was watching another video. Some person was saying it takes like an hour and a half, two hours to get this thing actually set up before you can get it in the air, and I would spend ten hours to get it up or ten hours. Uh, going through what I had to do to get it up in the air to make sure it's going to be safe and all that good stuff and no malfunctions. Oh, uh, one thing I didn't mention, it is it does have the GPS function. So if it goes and flies off um, and you're running out of battery, it will automatically start coming back to itself. But I'm kind of wondering, uh, how does it know how far it has to travel with enough battery life to make it back to the home or not? Um, I'm hoping there's no flyaways with this thing. I have heard there's actually, I don't know, I was talking to a friend of mine. I can't remember who I was talking to. But they had a flyaway, they trusted this more uh, to not have a flyaway than they did the DJI Inspire. I don't know if that's true. That's just something that was told to me and I'm saying it. I could be totally talking out of my ass right now and that could be totally incorrect. So with that said, I think I am done with this video. Um, so like, share, subscribe. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, like I said, either way, don't give a shit, as long as you watch the video and got somewhat of entertainment out of it, that's fine, um, and if you didn't, I'm sorry, um, that's not my fault, <laughs> you clicked on the video, <laughs> but anyway, guys, we'll see you on the next one, and take it easy, and fly safely, I guess, later, guys, out, uh, today we're gonna be looking at the DJI Phantom, <clears throat> <clears throat> shit, what the hell happened there? <clears> Ugh! <throat>